Okay, this should be a pretty quick one. Someone asked me about uh, getting GR Phosphor working in Dragon OS. And in this uh, video, I'm just going to show how to get it running with the uh, Intel C yeah, basically the Intel CPU in this case. And um, we're going to get OpenCL installed. Should be really quick. Uh, most everything is already uh, in Dragon OS. Uh, we just have to change a couple things. I had put a, a little description here on how to do this, uh, but I noticed uh, a brand new install. I had to actually change it a little bit. So I'll just record it, share, and uh, update this as needed. So this is a brand new install, latest Dragon OS Focal X. Um, I can, let me think, uh, so CPU info, uh, the Intel, we got an i7. Now, actually, this worked on the uh, Valve Steam Deck, even though it had an AMD, AMD CPU. It was fine. So let's install CL info. We'll use that uh, after the fact just to check the profiles that we have. I'm not going to remove these uh, packages. There is, a, and I'll show how to, I think, how to work around that. Uh, you, you can, but I'll show you what really uh, needs to be changed. So, at least with Dragon OS. So, I'm going to add uh, this GBG key here so that we can pull in the new, I think it's uh, the Intel 1 API. And let's see, we'll echo this into our app sources. Update this. Now it's probably going to take a second. Uh, the next um, two packages, uh, quite a, quite a lot. It's uh, what 693 megs there. And then I have the Ant SDR E200 plugged in that I talked about in the last video. So we'll use that. I will we'll install the Intel OpenCL ICD. And while that's finishing, well, it's actually already finished. Really, I think what we need to change. So if I do CL, CLI info and come up, you're going to see there's uh, somewhere here. Basically, there's two two profiles. So if you try and run it now, it's going to end up using that uh, POCOL um, deal, and that's it's not going to work. So how do we uh, fix that? Let me just sudo move. Uh, let me think. Open CL vendors. Now see how there's multiple. Uh, .icd files there. Let's just move this POCL one to Home Dragon Desktop just so I can have a backup of that. So now if you do CLI info and come up, you probably will find that there's one. So now there's one profile. All right. And so we want to see did this actually work and can we use the CPU and can we use GR Phosphor? Uh, well, let's test it real quick. We can do that with Osmo com, Osmo com FFT. Do you can do dash H C all the uh, options here. I'm just going to go with a dash F for uh, phosphor here. Um, you can do dash Q Q T G, but I I just want to see that uh, does it work. And we'll do a dash uh, S for sample rate. We'll just go with 10 E6 for right now. And this should use the, uh, uh, and you know what? So we can see right away that uh, GR Phosphor and uh, Phosphor is working. Uh, let me let me optimize this uh, just a little bit here. Uh, let's do, let's raise this net core up. And then the other thing too, uh, you'll notice when you install Dragon OS, uh, you might see the uh, Vogue profile for best performance. It's just reminding you, just run Vogue uh, profile. Run that once. That'll put a, a, a file in your home directory and it just optimizes uh, 
um, things basically. So uh, let's go back to Osmocom FFT. And so we can see we've got, got things working now. And so now you can really see what is going on here in the uh, spectrum. I probably could bump this up to 20. And so now that's the, um, and so that might be a little much with the desktop that I have here in, in the uh, connection, but it is running. And uh, yeah, and then if you want to check uh, GNU Radio real quick, you can do, uh, you just do GNU Radio Companion. Actually, I'll make this even easier. Go into user source, DJI drone, DJI drone ID, let's see, new radio, and we'll do a new radio companion drone ID test. And, uh, and so this is actually my first time trying this with the uh, Ant SDR, and th so 30 megs. Osphor sync. Let's see what we got here. I might have to dial that sample rate back some. Yep. Okay. So we'll take it back some. Default. I don't know. Let's just go with 15E6 and we'll see. And so, and so there we go. I just wanted to really show that phosphor, the blocks in uh, GNU Radio work as well. So as easy as that. Just install all you got to CPU, and that's how you get that up and going. Yep. All right.